and Mayor Sohi. Yeah, first of all, I want to start by thanking uh, our administration and, uh, and city clerk's uh, staff for uh, working with uh, all of us to have this new innovative approach uh, to, uh, to amendments. Uh, and also want to uh, start by thanking Edmontonians uh, for giving us this privilege to, uh, to serve them. And it's our role to make decisions uh, uh, based on, that are thoughtful, uh, that are uh, built on compassion and responsibility. And we share an obligation to make uh, Edmonton better for every single person in this city and Edmonton for all of us. Uh, but this approach would not have been possible without the openness and collaboration demonstrated by my fellow council colleagues. So thank you to all of you for uh, helping to bring this uh, multi-part motion forward. All of these amendments are crafted to make life better for current and future generations. Housing investments needed for a dignified and stable life that will start with $22 million in 2023 and will reach $91 million over the next four years budget cycle as promised by the administration. This will make life affordable for Edmontonians. Meaningful action on climate change for our kids and for future generations. Necessary support for businesses and community to drive our economic recovery and open up industrial land for development to build a better base for taxes. Investments in the active modes of transportation, including cycling, that provide safety for users, enables people to take action on climate change and to reduce household spending by reducing the need for that single occupancy vehicle that we are forced to rely on because we have don't, don't have other choices. It also frees up road space for those who must drive and for the movement of goods and services. Investments in long neglected Chinatown to help it revitalize and recover. Improvements to public transit, including planning for the BRT and long-awaited Castle Downs LRT, which is so necessary for social mobility, community connection, and enabling Edmontonians to reduce their carbon footprint. Would love to see Council Cartmel their BRT running on that uh, those uh, lines, uh, bus lanes, intervillager sometime in the future. Support to retrofit buildings that we own to reduce emissions, a commitment to preserve public services that Edmontonians rely on, and the responsible investments of our public dollars. This multi-part motion addresses these needs while making decisions needed to carry out these necessary investments in a responsible way. And I hope that uh, all of my council colleagues would, uh, would support this I also want to take uh, my last minute to thank more than 200 Edmontonians who came to this chamber hall to share their vision with us during the public hearing and those who are here today and those who might be listening online and those who engage with all of us through the email you send us, the phone calls you make, the conversation that we have in community gatherings. This budget is driven by your aspirations by the vision you have for this city, a city that is resilient, that's sustainable, that welcomes people like me to this place and creates opportunities for people to build their lives. That's what budgets are about. Budgets are yes about dollars, but they're also about people, investing in people to make their life better so they are successful. So with that, I hope that uh, uh, that council colleagues will support this. Yeah. Thank you, Mayor Zohi.